Is everyone ready to go? Sh sure You're shaking, Carol. Confronting the big cheese of a major guild about his involvement with the Great War is pretty intimidating. Come on, he's a normal person, just like us. There's nothing to be afraid of. But... Carol, you just don't know when to give up, do you? My, Patty, you've got nerves of steel. You're sure the brave one, Missy. I'm impressed. I'm just doing my best to be strong. You don't have to come if you don't want to, Estelle. I can't back down anymore. I don't want to. I want to know about myself. About who I really am. Sounds like you're ready to go. So then, let's go see Bellius. Just my imagination? We've come to meet with Bellius. You're... Oh, weren't you the emissary sent by Dun Whitehorse? Yep, it's a bit urgent, so if you wouldn't mind letting me through. You may enter. However, I must ask the rest of you to withdraw. What? But why? Are you trying to say we can't be trusted or something? I'm afraid that is what it amounts to. But... You can trust that we'll be even more tight-lipped than a giant clam. For sure. Let them pass. Duce, but I... I have spoken. Now that's more like it. Yes, Duce. I ask only that you not speak of anything you see here to anyone. Not speak of what we see? Why not? This is one of Polistrale's guild laws. Okay, then. We promise. Our leader, Bellius, is waiting just ahead. Everybody still here? Yes. A monster! And here I had secret hopes we'd get a gourmet meal out of this. Wasn't expecting a trap. This isn't a trap. She is... Bellius? The very same. I am Bellius, Duce of Nordopolica, and founder of Palastrale. Didn't see this coming. So you can speak our language as well. You encountered Pharaoh some time ago, did you not? I would not think then that our ability to use your tongue should come as a surprise. So you're an Antilochia, too? That is so. Th then the ancient race that built this city was... My brethren and I. If this city was built hundreds and hundreds of years ago, that would mean... Indeed. We have governed this city for ages. Wow! That's amazing! Good old Don. How nice of him to keep me in the dark on this. And who might you be? A humble servant of Don Whitehorse. I've got a letter for you from him. I've known that old badger too long to be surprised by who he knows. But just how are you connected? I am indebted to him for his assistance during the Great War. The Great War? 
So the rumors that you were one of the masterminds behind it are true. <laughs> well, I did participate in the war. However, I never exceeded that which my duty as an Intellikea required. I was not a mastermind of anything. The Great War was fought against the Entelikea. At any rate, my acquaintance with the Dawn dates from those times. I have long lamented that a man of his talent was not born instead as one of my race. That's the first I've heard the old man had anything to do with the Great War. It is a subject he takes little pleasure in discussing. The Don has requested my mediation in the current trouble with Pharaoh. It would seem that even a man of his strength cannot stand against my brother's assault upon his city. Such a request cannot lightly be brushed aside. I shall offer my assistance for the time being. <sighs> Glad to see you're so reasonable. So some of you tear down cities, and some of you run guilds. You Antilike are definitely... interesting. The same might be said of you humans, I would imagine. Aye, that'd be true. Now then, this letter is not the sole reason for your visit. Is it, child of the full moon? You know about Estelle? We in Telekea can sense the child of the full moon. My name is Estelise. I have to know, what exactly is the child of the full moon? Pharaoh called me an insipid poison, but what does that mean? Hmm. I know not whether your fate may be swayed by such knowledge, but... Bellius, listen. Judith? Hmm. Is there something of which I should be aware? Pharaoh is... What the hell's all that racket? At last, we found you, Antilochea! Leader of monsters! Origin of evil! Tyson! Boss! Well, if it isn't Carol and friends, you've got some twisted tastes hanging out with freaks like this! Keeping monsters to use in your Colosseum? You're an enemy of humanity, and now you die! You're pretty barbaric for a friend of Carol's. Who the hell is this little brat? Unfortunately, I don't give my name to Rapscallions. Huh. As if I really care. Where's Nan? Curious, huh? She should be leading the raid on the remaining monsters in the Coliseum about now. We hunting blades give no quarter to any who would obstruct the justice we mete out, humans or no. If you won't attack, then I'll make the first move, beast. It seems these men will not be stayed, lest I take arms against them. It is asking much of you, but please help Nats. What about you? I am not to be outdone by mere humans. Gotcha. Let's get out of here. Good luck. They think they are. What a bunch of total clods. I thought the knights were the ones who had business in Nordopolica. I never would have guessed we'd end up running into the hunting blades. What are they all doing here? Don't know exactly, but you can be sure it's got to do with Bellius. Could it be that the knights, I mean Flynn, came because of Bellius as well? We'll have to ask the Duce. For now though, we gotta see if we can get things under control. Eliminate them! Reaper now! The din of this lotus wing! Reaper now! to me! 
I'm just getting started. This one's strong. Do we even have a chance? Yo, I'm just getting started. Get ready. I'm taking you down. has gone to defend the Colosseum from the hunting blades. Please, you gotta help him. Wait, I'll... If only we'd come sooner. This is not the time for regrets. We've gotta go help that Nats guy. Yeah, which means going up. for anything. Someone protect me while I'm casting. Okay! These guys are just going crazy. I'm not done yet.
Looks like we got here in time. You must be a healer. You've saved me. I wonder if Bellius is okay. Ah! Duce! Nats, you are unhurt. You would yet challenge me, humans? Your kind is the root of all evil. The root of evil, Bellius? Well, you got it all wrong. Just look. All monsters serve evil. They must be hunted down. It, it is up to us, to the hunting blades. These idiots have got rocks for brains. You, you monsters are all alike. Judy! Duce! I'll heal you. You mustn't. Your power is... No. W what can this mean? She reacted to Estelle's formula? But this is... What's going on? I was too late. What have I done? If this keeps up, it'll bring down the Colosseum. Duce Bellius! Please control yourself! Duce! We have no choice but to try and stop her with force. But we're dead if we hold anything back against someone like this. I can't believe this! But it doesn't look like we have a choice. Bellius. Estelle, wake up! Right. Here she comes! Kill or be killed, huh? I'm sorry, but I'm not getting killed here. Kill me! What is my power? The poison that Pharaoh talked about! Live! Live! I... I don't want to do this! Do, do we really have to? I won't hold back. That's the only way, right? You can't run!
Is it over? But why? Oh, I that's the love. It's over. Duce, no. What now? I never thought this would happen. I'm sorry. I... I... Worry not. You were thinking only of saving me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just... Power corrupts. But you... You are different. Never lose that kindness. The compassion you so readily show to others. Now, go to Pharaoh. If you would learn of your destiny. To Pharaoh? That's... There is much I owe you. Do not harbor a grudge toward these people. Juche! No! Wait! No, I beg you, don't go! Bellius. Farewell. This is... is this the same as what was in the case from the ghost ship? Anapatheia! What does that mean? Convey my soul, this cyano seal, to my ally, Don Whitehorse! So... This must have been what Harry meant. Humans, we'll be taking that stone. Is this what you guys were after? Hope you don't think we'll just let it go. Then, we'll just have to pound on you until you do. That's enough! Everyone throw down your weapons! Damn, look who's here. You! Take anyone still standing in the Coliseum into custody. We're gonna wind up in chains if we don't blow this scene. But we haven't done anything to warrant being arrested. I don't think they'd have any trouble cooking up a reason to put us behind bars. You're right. Escape is our best option. I've secured an escape! Hurry! Okay, we're getting out of here for now. No. I... I don't want to go anywhere. My power... It really is a poison. I, I thought I could help her, but I only brought about her death. What are you doing? There. You saved me, didn't you? What? Uh, but I... Let's move. Okay. Bellius, how could something like this happen? There was still so much we needed to ask. Yeah, think of all the knowledge that only an Entelakea would have. Not to mention her perspective as the Duce Apollostrale. Why couldn't we have met her sooner? Yuri...
this place is swarming with knights. We've no choice but to go out through the harbor then. But what if the harbor's blockaded too? Well, the Weasand of Kados is blocked off. If we have to get out of here, I'd say breaking out through the harbor is our best bet. Ah! Escaping by sea might be better, yes! Exactly. Sorry, Patty, but can I ask you to pilot the ship? Aye, aye. Leave it to me. Time to show you what I can do. I hope it's actually got a new Ceres Blastia, though. Perfect. Then I'll handle the Blastia. Hey, where's the old man? You don't need to worry about him. He'll turn up soon enough. Right. He's the sort of guy who shows up as soon as you start to feel relieved he's gone. Yuri Lowell! This is the end of the line! Lady Esteles, you must return with us. Captain Flynn is worried about you. But I... Estelle's not going back with you. All right, let's hurry to the harbor. Looks like we can't put one over on this guy. Return Lady Esteles and the stone. Flynn, what do you want with the Apatheia? So the knights are trying to get a hold of this thing too. That's why the hunting blades were here. It's like what that guy in Normden said. The Apatheia brings only chaos to humanity. So it's true. Hand it over. Whoa! Is he serious? Just what the hell are you doing? Using the military to get control of the city? That's taking things a bit far. Maybe you're carrying out your duty, but you can't just go around doing everything by force. Captain, awaiting orders! I thought you were with the Knights to change things like that. I don't know why I'm the one who has to be saying this stuff. You know it full well yourself. <sighs> Cat got your tongue? I mean, how's this any different from what I've come to expect from the Empire? Are you gonna follow Rago and Kumor's examples? If I did, would you just kill me as well? Would you do away with me like you did Rago and Kumor? Huh? What is he... If you go and become a villain, you won't be giving me much choice. Yuri? You mind saving this charming little squabble for another time? We're sort of in a hurry, right? <laughs> Come on! Captain! What was Flynn saying about Yuri and Rago? Save it! You men, raise the anchor! Yeah, man. Raise the anchor. Raven! Where did you come from? Don't suppose it'd be too much trouble to take one more with us. Hey, that's the guy! Why would you... 
This is the path I have chosen. You're the dragon freak! Judy, wait! Goodbye. Judith? Why? Why? Our genius mage has given the Ceres Blastia her undivided attention. Sounds like the core on the new Blastia is pretty much totaled. It's a good thing we had that merchant lady change the Ceres Blastia for us. That's Kaufman for you. She always goes above and beyond at keeping her word. So luckily we still had the old Blastia around. Either way, looks like we'll be drifting out here for now. Looks that way. I'm worried about the ship's heading. I'll go check it out. What are Carol and Estelle up to? They're a bit down in the dumps. Why don't you go check in on them? You'd probably be better at cheering them up, old man. You know I'm not cut out for that stuff. Guess I've had a hand in dampening the mood around here, too. Might as well see how they're doing. I knew Judy's secret would get out someday, but not like this. A little heads up would have been nice. I don't know what to think about anything anymore. <laughs>